Hey everyone, I'm back. Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and I have all of my ends in. I have made sure all my little uh, loop-de-loops are at the same distance where I want them to be. And now it's time to begin doing our braided rim. The braided rim is a four-step process. In this video, we're just going to do step one. So I'm going to lower the camera. At every stake, you have now two pieces of number three round reed coming up at each and every stake. These two pieces are going to be worked together as one, and they are called spokes. You don't want them to get twisted. You want to keep them. You want to keep them uh, uh, flat and and uh, untwisted. Keep them together. The piece in your left hand goes behind the piece in your right hand and to the outside of the basket. Take the next spoke or the next two pieces of number three round reed. The piece in your left hand goes behind the spoke into the outside of the basket. Pick up the next spoke in your right hand. The piece in your left hand goes behind spoke that was in your right hand and to the outside of the basket. Pick the spoke up with your left hand. Take a new set of spokes with your right hand. The one in your left goes behind the one in your right and to the outside of the basket. Pick up the next set of spokes with your right hand. The one in your left goes behind the one in the right and to the outside. And again, continue in this manner. Make sure your spokes stay damp. The biggest thing I notice when I'm teaching new weavers how to do a braided rim is the round reed dries quickly and they don't keep it damp. You might want to have a little spray bottle on hand. You can mist your reed and that will help to keep it damp. But don't let your reed dry out. If it dries, it can easily break. And that's the last thing that you want. So we're just going around. It's really, it's it's really a fun technique to do, different than lashing your rim on. And something you might also want to consider is using different colors for your round reed. All right, we're at the beginning where we started. Here, I'm going to back up one. Okay, the piece in my left hand goes behind the piece in my right hand into the outside of the basket. This next piece is art where I started is already tucked in. Let's just pretend it's standing upright. Let's pretend I'm holding it in my right hand. The piece in my left hand would go behind the piece in my right hand and to the outside of the basket and pull it through. And that is the end of step one. Now what I'm going to do though is I'm going to go and kind of tighten that up a little bit because I like the look. So if I push down on all these that kind of tightens that up and I think it gives it a nice look. All right. And see how we've just gone right around those corners? And I didn't let, I did not let those reeds, pieces of reed twist. Okay, they're all nice, nice and straight like they should be. This is the end of step one. I'm gonna go and dampen my reed and I'll be back for step two. Visit my blog, www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com, and I'll be back for step two with our braided rim. Bye-bye.